I think what's so important about art is its ability to transcend language. You know, someone who didn't speak the same language as you or I could look at this painting and have their own take on the story, could understand what it was trying to say. They can react to what's happening in front of them and the artist is able to communicate with them even though they don't speak the same language. And I think that's so fascinating and, and really connects us to one another in an interesting way. I think it's important to keep telling stories and to keep making art because these things change with us and we need to memorialize our own thoughts and feelings because they give context for ourselves to people in the future as well. You know, in the same way that, that we understand historical figures a little more three-dimensionally, other people will, will look back at us and understand us a bit more three-dimensionally through art. As a historian, I, I'm so interested in the way that people of previous generations were thinking and feeling and reacting to different stories, the way that changes over time, the way it differs from the way we approach stories. And I think preserving that for the historical record is extremely important. The painting's interpretation can change based on what the viewer brings to it. So even though this is a fixed object, from 1895 full stop, our own cultural expectations and experiences and thoughts bring a new layer of understanding to the painting with every successive generation.